Ladies and gentlemen, back with another reaction video. This is ADS Play 101 here for, with another episode of The Feels Reaction Series. So today we're going to be taking a look at a Demon Slayer video game that was kind of announced through Crunchyroll, I believe. I believe, and um, it was some article, and I know Crunchyroll had something to do with it. I don't know. All I'm hoping for, because I haven't seen any of these yet, please, for the love of God, do not make this an anime arena fighter. Those never do good. They never do good. It's like My Hero Academia 1's Justice flopped. Nobody's playing that game anymore. We shouldn't even speak on One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows. That didn't even make it past the damn beta. It got released and Saitama was so damn powerful. No, that just killed the damn game. They tried to make a dream version of them and it didn't work. Nobody wanted to play that bullshit. Um, you know, Naruto gets away with it because it's Naruto. You know what I mean? It's one of those, and I say this very loosely, hack job animes it's one of those animes that people who want to act like they watch anime talk about when they don't really watch anime like that they just watch naruto you know what i mean it's mainstream so they try to fit in because you know what i mean like for those of us who really watch anime and know about like the the, the good stuff you know what i mean and then you got those the the weaves and like the posers that's kind of just trying to come in like oh yeah I love Naruto when Naruto was one of the big three anime that got anime popular in the, in the United States I almost tongue twisted my damn self but yeah it's it's one of those but just please that formula never works bro like anime arena fighters they they, they trash so just please let's just stop making the anime anime arena fighters. But let's get started. This is Demon Slayer. You know, kind of like you tell them what that's supposed to mean. Just do it justice. That's all I'm asking. Just do the game justice. This is too good of an anime for you to be making a bullshit video game. Okay, so this is supposed to be the dead boy that uh, that Tojiro was fighting when he tried to slice that rock. It's a fucking arena fighter. God damn it. It's an arena fighter. It looks It's a fucking arena fighter. I don't even want to play this back. I'm so disappointed at the fact that the playstyle I'm glad they use an Unreal Engine. That's something Cyber Connect too. I mean, they do great graphics always. They did some of the earlier Naruto games for, on the PlayStation 2. Um, and the cell shaded graphics are always good when Cyber Connect 2 was involved. Damn it, man! Why did it had to be a fucking arena fighter? <sighs> I kind of just killed my spirit a little bit. It did. I'm like, like I'm not gonna front like this. It, it legitimately kind of killed my spirit. I would have much rather them make. All right, I'm gonna say it like this: If they didn't push this as a fighting game, and kind of push this as an adventure game with a versus mode that just so happened to be an arena fighter, then I kind of would have been more accepting. I, I kind of would have been more accepted of it. It's just that they're promoting it as a fighting game and it's a fucking arena fighter and I hate those. Everything that about it is like <sighs> if they would have made it in kind of like a Tekken style then that would have been fine but they didn't do that. It's just you disappoint me. At least the graphics are good. And for the most part, they're staying true to, uh... I'm not sleeping. And for the most part, at least they're staying true to the anime. I'm, just, I'm disappointed. 
I'm gonna say I'm disappointed, and I'm gonna just leave it at me being disappointed. I'm not like I said, I'm not even gonna play it back. I'm so pissed off at the fact that it's an arena fighter, knowing that that uh, I had so many high hopes for this damn game just because it's Demon Slayer. This is the one of the best animes of 2020 with a, a fucking movie that did record sales. just dumb I'm convinced that the people that make these games are literally just doing it for cheap cash grabs they're not even doing it because they know what the fuck they're doing I mean obviously that's been like that for a case for a long time with people making video games that had no business that had no business making video games it's just that they're making a video game in a style that does not work you know what I mean it's just there's, okay, here's the thing. Tournaments drive a lot of these video games. Tournaments drive, not all video games, all fighting games for that matter. When a, when a fighting game has a tournament scene, it extends the lifespan of that video game, of that fighting game, exponentially. For example, games like Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V would be dead right now if it wasn't for a tournament scene. Tekken 7 would be dead. You know what I'm saying? Because these are like the worst iterations of Tekken that we've had and Street Fighter that we've had in, in a long time. But because there's a, a tournament scene backing it up, you know, it pu pushes people to be the best in a game that even though it may not be so good, people want to be the best and get, you know, whatever they can get out of it. Nine times out of ten, money. Ain't nobody doing no tournaments for no damn Jump Force. Ain't nobody doing no tournaments for no My Hero Academia 1's justice. Yeah, and they came out with a part 2. If I'm not mistaken, My Hero Academia got a part 2. Uh, 1's justice got a part 2. Like a, a few months after the damn game came out. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, terrible. But... At this point, all I can hope is that it plays better than what I'm expecting. Because arena fighters have not been good. Arena fighters have never been good. So I'm going to just leave it at that. If they would have made it in the style of like Tekken, you know, it could have been accepted, but they didn't even do that. It's just really one of those what the fuck situations, man. But remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, show no mercy in battle. Uh, leave a comment. See what you guys expect. Peace.